Michelle here from Michelle's Party Planet, and today I'm going to show you how you can personalize these cute little DIY sailor hats for your next trip to Disney World or Disneyland. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is go ahead and use any Cricut machine of your choice. I'm using the Cricut Joy, but you could use the Cricut Explore Air 2 or the Cricut Maker to do this. You're going to need some heat transfer vinyl. I'm just using red for mine. I'm going to face the vinyl shiny side down. And then we're going to go ahead and get on the computer and start the design. Okay, you're going to start a new project. And once you have your new project set up, you're going to make sure that you are pointing to the right machine. I'm using Cricut Joy, like I mentioned earlier. And then we're going to go ahead and select the text feature. I've already loaded the font that I want um, to use. It's a Disney-inspired font called Walt. And it's on my computer as a system font. I'm going to click that. Once you have it selected here, you're going to go ahead and type the name or whatever personalization you want for the hat. I'm going to decrease the letter space a little bit just to get those letters closer in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these so that I can move the N in a little bit. Just using my arrow. Then I'll select them again and group them. And then I'm going to weld it so that it's one single file. And then what we're going to do is make it smaller because the height, actually I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Maximum we can do is 1.75 for the hat. And so that's the first name that I'm going to be doing. And we click make it. And then we're on the map because I'm just using regular um, vinyl or iron-on vinyl. Click that. We're going to make sure we mirror. This word happens to be the perfect size for the joy, but if the name was longer, I would just rotate it so it would be cutting this lengthwise. That way we can have as long as a, a word as we want. Um, some names are longer, but you're still not going to exceed the height of 1.75 for a good placement on this particular hat. But you can also do this, like I said, on the Explore Air 2 or on the Maker. And we're going to click Continue. Okay, so now that we can see that it has detected my joy, we're going to find an, the correct vinyl. We're doing iron-on. And we're doing everyday iron-on. By Cricut. And it reminds us here to make sure that the sh shiny side is down, which we've already done that earlier. And then we're gonna move back to the machine. Go ahead and put your mat in the machine. It's going to detect it. And then follow the prompts on your screen. Click go. In a matter of seconds, we'll have our first name for the hat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get our hat. And we're going to use our mini easy press. Let's go ahead and cut out around the lettering and then we'll read it real quick. So that's nice and weeded. And what we're going to do is to center it in the middle of our hat, like so. That's about right. That looks good. So then now we're going to carefully turn it back inside out so we don't smash the hat too much. And we're going to get the easy press and just apply the pressure. While before it cools, you're going to slowly remove the transfer paper. And that's it. Go ahead and turn it back inside out. And you have an adorable.
sailor hat, personalized in a Disney font, perfect for a nautical Mickey party, for a Disney cruise, for just a visit to the parks. And that's it. I hope you like this project. Um, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.